Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you now, Black Bush. President Bush continues to make his case for an invasion of Iraq. After carefully examining the region, uh, me and my cabinet agree that that area is definitely ripe for regime change. All right. But if I can be real about it. Be real, son. Real? Be real, real, son. Try to kill my father, man. What? Yeah. And play that Say where they tried to kill your father, son. That nigga tried to kill my father! everything we love we coming to see y'all, son. Meanwhile, President Bush and British Prime Minister Tony Blair offered a spirited explanation for a possible war with Iraq. This nigga very possibly has weapons of mass destruction. I can't sleep on that. Not on my watch. That's not how I roll. That shit is serious. Now, if you don't want to take my word for it, why don't you ask Tony Blair? He got a whole nother set of intelligence. What's, what's up, Tony? We don't know much about the city. <laughs> but we can't trust random niggas with things like that, as George so eloquently put it. I'm, I'm with him 100% of the way. We don't know what he has. <laughs> If the United States goes to war with Iraq, will it first have to provide evidence that Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction? So far, the UN has found nothing, but President Bush counters with this. The nigga bought aluminum tubes! Do I need to tell you what the f you can do with an aluminum tube? <laughs> aluminum! They don't skate? Fine. I didn't want to say this. The mother bought some yellow cake. Okay, in Africa. He went to Africa and he bought yellow cake. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, bitch. I got the head of the CIA right here. He'll tell you. Are you sure? Are you sure? I can't believe you. Know. You say you're ridiculous. Huh? Ridiculous. Me and Jeb just coming back from Africa. Cradle of civilization. <laughs> this nigga out here buying yellow cake from the motherland. Are you sure it was yellow cake? Y'all niggas don't believe me. I got some yellow cake right here. Look, you see, you believe this now? Y'all drop that. No, I know what to do with it. But well, I got it wrapped up in this special CIA yeah, don't napkin. Don't drop that. Yeah. You know, hope I don't drop this. Pray to God you don't drop that. Yellow cake. Right. A sensitive accusation for this administration is the theory held by many that the real reason the U.S. is so interested in toppling Sodom is control of the oil that Iraq is sitting on. What about people who say you're only interested in the Middle East for oil? What? Huh, oil? Who said something about oil, bitch? You cooking? <laughs> oh. <laughs> President Bush met with UN Secretary General Kofi Annan and made it clear the US will act even if the UN is reluctant. UN, you have a problem with that? You know what you should do? You should sanction me. Sanction me with your army. Oh, wait a minute. You don't have an army. I guess that means you need to shut the up. That's what I'd do if I had no army. I would shut up. Shut the up. That's right. Okay, now I ain't think I'm gonna take orders from an African. You might speak 16 languages, but you're gonna need them when you in Times Square selling fake hats. I know Gucci when I see it, nigga. I'm rich. I got a coalition of the willing. I got 40 nations ready to roll, son. Like who? Who the f said that? Huh? Huh? Like who? England, Japan's sending PlayStations. Stankonia said they are willing to drop bombs over Baghdad. Riggedy Row is coming. Africa Bambada and the Zulu Nation. That means I am not doing this by myself, and I'm not disrespecting the U.N., even though they don't got no army. Go sell some medicine, bitches! <laughs> Trying to get that all! Oh! oh. <laughs> the U.S. fired the opening salvo in the war on Iraq with at least 40 Tomahawk cruise missiles and precision-guided bombs, centering on Baghdad. Good evening. Tonight, President George Bush is on board the aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln off the California coast. It will be the site of what is essentially his victory speech in the war against Iraq. Uh -uh. What did I say? I'm not gloating, but what did I say? Did I not say that we would win it? We rocked them, families. We rocked them. Nigga, you see me coming on that plane? Shh. <laughs> the second straight day, these hardline Iraqis protested the American presence here. 
Mr. President, when do you think they'll hold general elections in Iraq? Damn, I know I shouldn't have called on this nigga. I shouldn't have, <laughs> have called on you because you're always trying to distract motherfuckers with things like the war and skirt all the real issues. Gay people are getting married, folks. Yes. Nasty. Imagine that. Two women touching on each other's titty balls. Wrestling. Gently stroking those nipples till they get just so stiff and erect. Blowing on them. <laughs> Men, barbecue. I like you. I like you too, dog. Let's get married, man. It's crazy. What about your real? That is gross. <laughs> Mr. President, Mr. President, sir, how do you explain the continual upheaval in Iraq even after the capture of Saddam Hussein? Why are you doing this, man? I thought you was my black brother. Why are you asking me questions like that? Fine, I'll answer your stupid-ass question. Here's how I feel about Iraq. I feel like you guys keep trying to distract people with Iraq when I'm focusing on other things, namely the moon. Yes, I said it, the moon. Can't be distracted. What's going on with the war? What's wrong with the economy? Stop worrying about that. I got that under control. Lock. Just focus on space, nigga. The United States of space. Because I ain't stopping at the moon. So? Write this down. M-A-R-S. Mars, bitches. That's where we are going. Mars. Red rocks. Yay, yay.